The ability to explain to others ideas and concepts you have learned after reading a passage or viewing a video is important. In this lesson, you will go over some explanatory techniques. Explanatory techniques are skills you can use to help you explain things more clearly. Also, by recognizing these techniques when you read or view content, you can also better understand what is being explained. One explanatory technique you can use is to compare two or more ideas or things. To compare is to note similarities. Words for comparison include also, as well as, and equally. Here is an example of using a comparison word to explain the formula for the area of a square. The formula for finding the area of a square is also used for a rectangle. A second technique is to contrast, which is the opposite of to compare. When you contrast, you find differences between ideas or things. Words and phrases for contrasting include however, unlike, in contrast to, and on the other hand. Here's an example of using a contrast word to explain the differences between hurricanes and tornadoes. Hurricanes occur in coastal areas, unlike tornadoes, which occur on land. A third technique is to use cause and effect in order to explain what happened as a result of a previous related action. Words and phrases to indicate cause and effect include if, then, because, so, and as a result. Here's an example of using cause and effect to explain what happened after the school fundraiser. As a result of the school fundraiser, each student received their own laptop. The last technique is to use problem and solution to briefly explain what the problem is and how to resolve or fix it. Words and phrases to indicate problem and solution include the problem is, the solution was, the question is, or the outcome depends on. The question is whether or not schools should sell sugary drinks at school, but the outcome depends on what the students decide to do.